Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be taking a look at a new Thrunite model flashlight that recently came out. Thrunite re reached out and asked if I'd be interested in checking out this model primarily because I actually did a review on the first version of this model and uh, if you guys are interested in seeing that I'll leave it in the cards above here. Uh, this is the Catapult Mini and this particular one is actually the Catapult Mini V2. And I was pretty excited to get this one in because I think the Catapult line, uh, whether it's the full size or the mini from Thrunite, it's one of those lights that everybody should have as part of their collection, um, you know, because it serves uh, such a great purpose. You get a lot of lights thrown a ways out there on such a small form factor, especially if you go with the mini ones. So this particular one is the version two, and Thrunite is great at this. Thrunite um, is really good at taking in feedback, especially from these type of videos, from the comments that um, the people that watch the videos leave, and then they use those comments and those suggestions to make improvements on the lights. And I really, really enjoy that. I've been working with Thrunite for many, many years, and I've always enjoyed that from them. So when they asked if I would want it to review it, I obviously said yes. So this particular one is in the desert tan color. This is available in um, in this color and in black as well with the cool white light. So let's go ahead and open up the box here and we'll set, this is the light, we'll set it off to the side and then we'll see what else is inside of here. Got a couple of different things. The first one is you have your uh, USB-C charging cord. Again, this is a rechargeable battery on the flashlight, so it's great that they do include that, and it is USB-C, which a lot of folks are um, going towards with a lot of their electronics. You have this little bag right here, which has a couple of accessories. You do have a spare O-ring, a wrist lanyard, and then a spare um, kind of little door for where the battery or where you would charge the flashlight. That's cool that they do include that. And then obviously you do have your user manual here. As always, I do recommend that you read through your user manuals, especially with flashlights like these and like the um, new models that come out every year that have so many different modes and uh, different uh, uh, parameters and stuff like that. Um, I always recommend that you kind of read through them. So I will show you guys here. Here's a little bit of a snapshot on the um, different parameters, meaning the different outputs and things like that. Um, that you have. So as you can see, you have turbo, high, medium, low, firefly, and strobe. So you get um, one, two, three, four, five, six different modes on this particular flashlight. And again, it's always good to kind of see what you get. So the turbo is actually going to give you a maximum output of 1,108 lumens. And then that goes all the way down to firefly, which is 0.6 lumens. And that's actually good for 85 hours. So it's really, really good that they do include that firefly because if it's something that you need just a tiny bit of light, but you want to preserve the battery, then that's always a good mode to have. So um, again, I always recommend that you kind of read through your manuals to make sure that you become familiarized with them. Or if not, you can go ahead and take a look at the video and that will give you some information as well. So here is the flashlight itself. Um, I do really, really love this desert tan color. Um, I asked for them to send me this particular color because I had um, uh, the uh, version one and I think it was a gray color. So I, you know, I have a lot of black flashlights. So I wanted something a little bit with a little bit more color. So um, I asked for this one and I think it looks really, really awesome. The, uh, uh, the colorway on it looks really, really nice. Uh, really nice attention to detail. So here is the flashlight in my hands. So when they do say mini, it is mini. And as you guys can see right there, it says Thrunite Catapult Mini V2. Again, this is taking the um, suggestions and comments and stuff like that, and they um, make some different changes, and then they come out with the V2. So you do have this little notice here that says, uh, please screw down the light head and tail cap tightly before use and charge. So obviously that is so that the light doesn't come on um, when you have it or when it's in transit. So what they do is they um, kind of loosen the, the head and the, uh, the body a little bit. So let me cut this off here and we'll set that off to the side there. And then let's take a closer look at the light itself. Really, really nice milling on the um, aluminum body here. Uh, you have, you know, different directions and stuff like that. I just really, really like the way that this looks. Um, uh, you have a little bit of milling right back here where you're gonna be holding it. Because it's such a small flashlight, you do want that to be able to um, give you some grip on the light itself. So you have these lines that kind of go like this. Then you have some um, over here, which are a little bit bigger. They 
they probably help with the dissipating heat and stuff like that and then coming up to the head of the flashlight right there and then taking a look at that um, reflector so the LED sits really really low in there and it is a nice and smooth reflector and that is what allows this flashlight to push that light way way out there um, you know they're, they're talking about uh, 515 meters which is your maximum um, light output on this so this is pushing that light way way out there it's a nice tight beam shot um, uh, a little bit later in the video I'll go ahead and go outside and show you guys a couple of beam shots at night so you can see what that looks like but this is a really really awesome light again the main difference between a flashlight like this versus another type of EDC flashlight maybe the same size or bigger is the ability to be able to have that tight beam shot and be pushed out way so if you're searching for something if you want to pinpoint or something way out in the distance this is going to be the flashlight that you're going to want to be able to do that so you have your um, uh, button right here which is going to basically do um, cycle through the modes turn the flashlight on and off and things like that and there is an led right in the middle there which will give you some information as far as the battery and what percentage you are and stuff like that uh, on the back right here you have that little door which I mentioned earlier and that little kit that you have a replacement for but that is where you're going to go ahead and charge the flashlight via the USB-C charger that was included and then you can go ahead and close that back down and that's going to allow no water or dust or anything like that to get in there. And then at the bottom here you do have a little area so you can attach your lanyard whether it is the one that came with the flashlight or um, if you want to put on your own or something like that. The wrist lanyard is always good especially on these smaller flashlights to attach to it because that way if you're walking around or something like that and you were to drop it it's not going to fall onto the floor you know it'll be kind of around your wrist and it gives you a little bit more to kind of grip onto the light because again uh, if you have the light in your hand like this but you do need to kind of transition a little further back to use that button um, the lanyard on there attached to your wrist is going to give you a little bit more uh, to hold on to you do have a flat bottom right there which is good so you can go ahead and tail stand it so if you're using this like maybe indoors to shine up to the ceiling to have that light kind of spread out um, you can go ahead and do that and um, you don't have to worry about it um, falling off or anything like that. If it is on the side, it does roll unfortunately, so just keep an eye on it if you have it on top of a table. And let me double check if this bottom is magnetic. No, it is not magnetic. And again, um, with a lot of these tile style flashlights, because you do have a wider head, um, this is, um, it's, you can carry it for EDC purposes, but it is more designed um, to be carried like inside of a pouch or a bag or something like that, hence the lack of pocket clip on this. It'll be pretty difficult to put in a pocket clip because the head spreads out so wide um, you know so it'll basically sit like, kind of like that in your pocket so again um, this is available or able to be carried via uh, an, an EDC but more inside of a bag or something like that as opposed to clipped onto your pocket because again it doesn't come with a clip anyways so the button right here is nice and recessed so you don't have to worry about it especially if you're carrying it in a bag it being pressed by mistake or anything like that and then when you click it you do have a nice um, audible click where um, you know that you're clicking it on and off and then kind of going through so let me tighten up so as you saw the body itself uh, I kind of did a couple turns and then when you press it now you are going to be able to activate that light um, there is a pretty easy UI with these you know when you press it on press it off if you come on if you press it on and then you pr leave a press you're going to cycle through the different modes as you see right there so low medium high and then if you turn it off and this does have a memory so after a couple of seconds if you turn it back on it will come back on in either one of those modes that you had it on so low medium or high uh, to access the firefly mode you just press and hold and um, again it's 0.6 so I don't know if you guys can make it out but the LED is on so let me go ahead and so as you guys can see there it turned off but if you press and hold it does come on into that uh, firefly mode which is 0.6 lumens so again you press and hold it or actually press it and it'll come off so if you press it once it'll turn it on and then turn off if you press it and then hold it'll cycle through the modes and if you press it and it'll turn off press and hold it for a couple seconds will be the firefly and then if you turn it on and double click it 
you're gonna get your uh, turbo output, which is 1,108 lumens. And again, um, that is gonna be good for 80 seconds. And after that, it's gonna actually ramp down to 358 lumens, which is gonna be good for 62 minutes. So again, you get a lot of light out of this, um, this little um, flashlight and the smaller battery. And now if you, I believe if you triple click it, you are gonna get the strobe. So let's try that strobe warning. Yep, there it is. So there is your strobe, and that is 331 lumens, good for 73 minutes. If you click it again, it's going to go ahead and turn off. So again, um, fairly simple UI. It's uh, very easy to remember exactly what to go through and, uh, and things like that to be able to get to the different modes, which I do like. I like the fact that they make it very easy to use. All right, before we go outside, um, I did want to go ahead and showcase two things. The first one is, let's go ahead and take a look at the battery so you can see that. Again, there will be pretty much no reason to take it out because you do charge it through the body, but here is the battery itself. It's 1,100 milliamp battery. It's an 18350 3.7 volt battery. So nice little small battery again. Um, even though it's such a small size, you are getting such a big performance from it. You do have your O-ring right there, which is gonna um, keep it nice and sealed off from the elements. So I'll go ahead and close that back up. And then uh, let me turn this overhead light off because I did want to go ahead and show you the um, the LED that I was talking about. So uh, you, uh, I thought you weren't able to see it, but it's because I wasn't pressing it down long enough. If you press the light for three seconds, you're actually going to get a what they call a breathing LED. And I'm hoping you guys can see it. It's blue right now, so it's showing that it's good charge. And basically what it does, it's um, if you press it for three seconds, you're going to see it's a it's a breathing, so it's kind of like comes on or off. Um, and then again, the, the light is on because I pressed it on. So let me try that again. Let me turn off this, over, this other overhead light. Maybe that'll make a difference. Here we go. All right, so press that. There it is. So as you can see, it's like a pulsating, they call it a breathing LED. It's like a little pulsating blue light right there. And that's just giving you the, um, the indicator of what the battery percentage or you know where it's at. And then it just went off because the light is on as well. I'll go ahead and turn that off. So there it is. All right, let's go ahead and take it outside so you guys can see the beam shots. All right, guys, so we are outside now. Um, I actually came out to a an area close to my house, they're actually doing a construction. They're um, putting up some sort of building or something like that. So I figured this would be a great um, look at what the uh, Catapult Mini V2 from Through Night is able to do. Now, um, it's a pretty windy day. There's some background noise with the cars and stuff like that going by, so I apologize for that. But again, I figured this would probably be the best way to showcase what the V2 can do. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and cycle through the different modes. Um, and then we can see the output and stuff like that. So I'm gonna start with the um, Firefly mode. Again, that is 0.6 lumens. I'm not sure that it's actually going to be able to show anything up in front. I'm actually shining the light right now. So what I'll do is I'll put my hand here in front of the camera. And then again, as you guys can see, there is the Firefly mode. Perfect mode to um, use if you wanna go ahead and preserve battery life, because again, you are getting 85 hours worth of battery coming out of um, the Firefly mode. So let's go ahead and take a look at low. Um, this is low right here, and as you guys can see, I'm kind of shining. So at the bottom of your screen there is a uh, stake that they've put out here to kind of show where the perimeter of this new building is gonna be. Um, that is about 20 feet out in front of you. So again, this is doing a good job at lighting up anything from um, you know, where I'm standing out to 20 feet. It actually lights up the trailer in the back right there also, um, but as I shine it up on the actual building, you are losing a little bit of that light because again, low is only 70 lumens. But for EDC purposes is um, more than enough, uh, you know, enough light to be able to see up to about 20, 25 feet in front of you perfectly well. So if I go ahead and press on the button, it's gonna cycle up to medium. So there is medium now. Medium, again, is 160 lumens. Now you're able to see a little bit more. You're able to see that trailer a lot better back there. So it is pushing that light out. That trailer, I would say, is about, again, if this uh, tent stake is about 20 feet, the trailer is, uh, I'd say, about 80 to 100 feet away. So again, up to 100 feet, you are able to see um, and make out what's going on out there, which is really nice. Again, shining it up on the building, you're able to see a couple of the structures of the building and stuff like that. But again, you are losing out a little bit because of the distance. The building is probably around 200 feet away from the trailer itself. So let's go ahead and go up to high now. So I press and hold. 
this is going up to high again right in front of you here you're able to see everything really nice those signs are being reflective um and on the right side there there is the trailer and then you can actually make out the building in the back right there about 200 feet away so as i mentioned the um the great thing about the uh, Catapult Mini V2 is the ability to throw that light way out there. You can almost see the beam here in the camera uh, in the high mode here of 331 lumens. So I'm going to go ahead and double click the button and then that will put it, push us up to turbo. All right, here is turbo. You can definitely see, see here's the flashlight to the bottom right of your screen. And you can see the beam of light again, really, really good. It's washing out that trailer back here because you are able to see it but now you can actually make out the whole building right back there so again this is perfect for any type of searching that you might want to do so if you're like a security officer maybe a police officer or somebody that needs a light to maybe survey an area like maybe you have a large plot of land a farm or something like that this is going to do you really really good again it's pushing that light way out there you can actually see how tight that beam is in this shot right here so if you wanted to see a specific area of the building you can go ahead and shine it out and that is where the catapult v2 mini shines you know no pun intended you can actually see everything that is going on in front of you so i'm going to uh, triple click the the button now and go into strobe and there is your strobe again strobe uh, the lumens come down to 331, but this is perfect if you need to, you know, attract somebody's attention. Uh, if, if you needed to disorient somebody, this is going to do that as well. But this is a great um, way of attracting somebody's attention. So if something happens and you need to get somebody to you, maybe some emergency services or something like that, let them know where you're at. This is going to be able to do that. And again, it's still pushing out that light way, way out there onto the building itself. If you press the button, it's going to go ahead and turn off. So again, as you guys can see, the um, Catapult Mini V2 from Throughnight, it's a great option, uh, especially if you need to be able to push that light out there, see what's going on and see what's coming to you. Or if you're looking for something, you can go ahead and do that with this flashlight. Now let's go ahead and take it back onto the table and we'll go ahead and go through our last thoughts. All right, so um, I'm hoping that those uh, beam shots outside were able to kind of showcase the power and thrill that the um, Catapult Mini V2 has. Again, it's one of those flashlights that it's a great addition to anybody's kit, especially if you have a use for a light that can go out there, but it still retains a pretty small form factor. Now, by way of comparison, I want to go ahead and roll in the V1 here. Again, this one is in the metal gray. Uh, this one is in the desert tan. And I'm just, you know, I'm glad that Through Night does a really awesome job at listening to, um, you know, to reviews, to comments and stuff like that. That's why it's always important to go ahead and comment with any suggestions and things like that because these companies are listening to that. So um, just, you know, a quick uh, differentiation is the flashlight, the V2 is a slightly, just slightly longer um, as far as the uh, the uh, length of the light itself. So you're still retaining that really small form factor. A little bit different in the, um, right here in the uh, reflectors, and obviously where the, um, the LED actually sits um, in the V2 is more of a, uh, it sits way down there and it's more of a really um, clean and um, deep reflector there. So, um, but where you do see a big difference is in the uh, turbo output. Again, the V2 is giving you 1,108 lumens versus the original, the V1, you were getting 698 lumens on the turbo. So um, you're getting uh, quite a bit of jump up on the output as far as on the turbo mode with the V2. Now, both of these are still available on um, Through Night's website. You know, there is a little bit of a difference also in just the way that the head is designed and stuff like that. So again, if you guys are interested, I've done a review on the um, Catapult before. I'll go ahead and link it right above here if you want to check out that review as well. Um, I will leave a, uh, a link to Through Night's website below. If you guys are interested in um, picking up the V2 or the V1 or any other flashlight from Through Night, they are a great company. Go ahead and check out that link. Uh, it's not a sponsored link or anything like that. It's just um, I truly believe that the company puts out some really good products, and especially because they have products for all sorts of, um, of folks out there. So depending on what you're looking for, from a small little keychain flashlight, to an EDC flashlight, to a uh, pocket thrower like this one, to larger flashlights, uh, maybe you need them for other um, you know, type of work and stuff like that, 
they'll probably be able to accommodate you for that. So go ahead and check out the links below if you are interested um, in either finding out some more information on the V2, the original V1, or any of their other flashlights, or picking one up for yourself. So there it is. That was a look at the new um, Through Night Catapult Mini V2, this one being in the Desert Tan color. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.